So, <clears throat> because of Corona, season six of Supergirl, like all the other Arrowverse shows, started at the start of 2021. I can't give exact dates because of what I'm looking at. But I can say that episode 6 aired on the 4th of May. And episode 7 aired on the 11th. They then went on a massive break. Returning on the 24th of August. And in between, they had aired... Let me try this. 24 episodes of the other Arrowverse shows. So they aired the last, well, 10 episodes of The Flash. The last 5 episodes of Batwoman. And the last 10 episodes of Superman and Lois. So they came back and... That was all they had aired until Batwoman returned October 13th, 2021. But we're focusing it on season 6, episode 12, Supergirl Blind Spot, which aired in September 21st, 2021. Before I met, I just want to mention that none of the Arrowverse shows have hinted at Corona existing in that world. No masks or anything like that. And they did not do any BLM stuff. I mean, yeah, there is the... There, there still is politics in it, but it's not like... We support BLM! Except for this episode, which was written by... I don't know how to pronounce his name. Aziz Tazfai, who plays Kelly Olsen in the show. The episode focused on her. It was also directed by David Ramsey because he appeared in the episode as part of that crossover that they wanted to make but couldn't because of Corona. And the whole episode distracted away from the main story because in the previous two episodes, the main villain of this season, uh, Nick Nixley, yeah. <clears throat> she had, at the end of episode 10, she had destroyed this building. And then the episode 11, where they get, I'm not going to pronounce his name, I'm just going to use an nickname for him. They get uh, Mr. Mix down to try and help, because he'd be able to fight against her because of the both fifth dimensional limbs. Like, you know what, if you want to show, you'll understand what I mean. Then episode 12, they reveal that what the consequences of that building being brought down by Nixley's magic is that humans were given that magic. And it mainly focuses on this white politician. And Kelly tries to stop her. And... She just complains to everyone else, like all, all the other super friends, as they're called, including her girlfriend. Yeah, like, oh, you guys don't support BLM because you're too busy dealing with Nixley, despite the fact that she's a bigger threat. Because if we, because if we don't stop her, she's gonna become God. You know, the same way that Lex became God, technically, in Crisis. Anyway, and it's it's just fucking it's terrible. Anyway, I read Batman Year Three. It's much better than Year Two, and that's all I have to say about it. Actually, I have learned more. So I thought all I had left for the Dark Knight Return, you know, for Thirty One, was the upcoming Carrie Kelly book. And the, the two sequels to uh, Dark Factory. 
But no, there's more. I also find out that... Right, so where... No, that's the wrong with PDP. Yeah, what have we done? Okay. Where is it? Here it is. So, looking at the Wikipedia page for Batman Year One, if we go to uh, continuity, that section of it, like the, there's some other like adaptions, you know, Batman Forever, whatever, sequels, this is your ticket free continuity. Before the new 52 in 2011, Batman Year One existed in the mainline DC continuity, as in Earth One slash Earth Prime. And in the same continuity as the other storylines in Miller's Dark Knight universe, consisting of Dark Knight Returns, a sequel Dark Knight Strikes Again, Dark Knight Free Master Race, Dark Knight Returns of the Last Crusade, Spawn Batman, and All Star Batman and Robin the Boy Wonder. So it takes place on both Earth 1 and Earth 31. Okay. Oh, right. It's fine. I, I get that. It does fix up some continuity errors. Well, there already are continuity errors. When it comes to year two and three, which means I didn't actually have to read year two and three. Because. Right, so year one happened on one and 31, Earth's, Earth's one and 31, in the exactly the same way. But. Year two for uh, Earth one is the year two book. Whereas, year two, in our thirty one, is we'll say all star Batman Robin the Boy Wonder. I get there are continuity errors there, but we're just gonna ignore them to make this easier. So, also excuse me if you can hear like. Okay, so my neighbors, two doors down, are known for going all out when it comes to Christmas decorations and they've done that today but for some reason there are a swarm like I'm talking two busfuls of people surrounding the house to look at the Christmas decorations but I've never seen them do anyway Um, so, I'm going down a couple of paragraphs. Launched in 1989 following the, the success of the film Batman, as in, you know, Michael Keaton, Tim Burton, Batman 89. The title Batman Legends of the Dark Knight examines crime-fighting exploits primarily, not exclusively from the first four to five years of Batman's career. <laughs> I had heard of Legends of the Dark Knight before, I assumed it was one book that had inspired Long Halloween, Dark Victory, and I think the Catwoman sequel to Dark Victory. No, it turns out it is a 200 issues uh, series that went from 1989 to 2007. I'm not reading it. <clears throat> so, if we go on... Title located in creative teams and time placement, but several stories directly relate to the events of year one. Especially the first part, arc, Batman Shaman in 1996 and 1999. Jack Loeb and Tim Seale created Batman The Long Halloween and Batman Dark Victory. Which we've already read. 213 Maxi series to recount Batman's early years as a crime fighter following the events of Miller's original story and retold the origins of Two Face and Dick Grayson. The year one story was followed up in the 2005 graphic novel The Batman Who Laughs. And um, I've right, I think if you click on the Batman Laughs uh, thing, yeah, okay. So, <clears throat> the Long Halloween introduces the Joker that are 31. And let, I'm going to read the first paragraph of the Wikipedia page for Batman Laughs. Or, sorry, not the Batman Laughs, that's a different book. But the Batman, sorry, Batman the Man Who Laughs. Batman the Man Who Laughs is a one shot proceed format comic book by. People I don't recognize. Released in February 2005 and attended as a successor to Batman. Oh, wait. Sorry, I should be reading the second paragraph. It tells the story of Batman's first encounter with the Joker in post zero R continuity. So that's that's what happened. Despite the fact that 
Long Halloween came out after Zero R. So, and um, I, I know what you're thinking, but why? Why is why why that doesn't make sense? Because Zero R is Earth One. Well, Earth Thirty One Batman does have a cameo in Zero R. I've yet to read Zero R, but I, I know that from the Dark Knight Returns uh, sequels, prequels, and whatever the third uh, bit is part of the Wikipedia page for Dark Knight Returns. So, currently reading Batman and Laughs. Um, I, I haven't read the rest of this, so I'll read it now. Following up on Gordon informing Batman about the Joker and thus recounting their first official encounter. Two other stories, Batman and the Monster Men and Batman and the Mad Monk, time at the same time period of Batman's career, filling the gap between Year One and the Manny Labs. The comics Robin Year One and Batgirl Year One describe the sidekick's origin stories. I've heard of Robin Year One because that's a sequel to Dark Victory. I never heard of Batgirl, Batgirl Year One. So, Batman and Manny Labs, Monster Men, Mad Monk. Robin Year One, Batgirl Year One, and Catwoman, I think the subtitles went in Rome. Six books. And then until the Carrie Kelly book is out. That is me done with Earth 31. Okay. The Guardians of the Galaxy Holiday Special Universally Positive Ratings Disney Plus Original Special Special Presentation. I watched it on Disney Plus. Chris Pratt, Kevin Bacon, Paul Clemente, Finn Diesel. That Dave Bautista, Karen Gill, and Jean Gunn, Zoe Saldana does not make an appearance in it because she's dead. Bradley Cooper, Michael Rooker, Kyra Sedwick. I know that's pronounced differently now because Kevin pronounces it in, in the film, but I don't remember. Yeah, I think that's it. It's good. This Twitter is on 9 to 7 p.m. on Sunday, the 27th of November 2022. <clears throat> if only. Whoa, 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 whoa. What, what, is, what is RSA? What is that for? Hmm? I'm not going to say what I think it stands for because I don't want to work like a dick. But. <laughs> oh, Republic of South Africa? I think. I was thinking Russia because I was about to say I thought Russia were banned from just, you know, anything like that. That's the same as Wuhan. That's the same as Wuhan. We could make this in the Home Alone 7. These protesters in China should be commanded. They are living under corona tyranny. But when our people protested in 2020 and 2021, the media vilified them and blamed them for killing people. Except BLM protesters. They were fine. Jesus could have been transgender, claims Cameron. I've heard people say stuff like that before. Like it was, I think Ben Shapiro reacted to a video where it was like, uh, Jesus, Jesus. Someone said that Jesus is non binary. Or God is non binary because I, I think what the logic was was that. God has the ability to do whatever he wants, so, you know, he, he could just switch genders like that. Which, that is true. I don't think he would, though, because... Like, it doesn't matter to him. Anyway. The statement by the UK's main prosecution service says it's no longer appropriate to read parts of the Bible out in public. I mean, that, that is true. There are some parts of the Bible that are heavily outdated. The experts got wrong about migration. 
It's an enormous white part of London becoming quite dystopian, whereas one Twitter user put it, you now compete with the world's richest on the housing market and the world's poorest on the labour market. Very good piece, and I've also been quoted for other proof that your posting matters. <clears throat> Migrants to house enforces homes. How far can British people be pushed before they cry enough? It's utterly grotesque that 2,500 veterans are homeless, yet we roll out the red carpet for immigrants in military accommodation. This has to be a red line. The government has lost the plot. I've already read this out happen. Well, it was yesterday. The mark how uh, Hans Hermann Hobbit, democracy, the exotic field, economies and poli politics of monarchy, democracy, and natural order. <clears throat> Don't see why I'd be frustrated. It's a great name. Eto. My child is truly the daughter of Marcus. This morning she burst into our room for a cuddle after breaking the hinges off the baby <laughs> What? How the fuck did she break off the hinges? <laughs> How's your day, Mr. Penis? I have to go buy another baby case because she's totally, she's actually broke the thing, it's now totally unusable. She's 20 months old and we just measured her, she is 3 foot 7, my child is an Amazonian. Give me 20 years boys and we'll retake York in the 4th Jacobite Rebellion. York is alright, take Bradford instead. I said Jacobite Rebellion, not Crusade. Hello, creator of life. Photoshopped. And no, it's not big enough. It's the pattern on the pants. Obviously, you've got nothing to worry about with meat like that. It's actually not a little illusion. It's the pattern on the pants. I've never seen Iger Man, so I didn't get that reference. I might watch I don't know. The six justices who return row should never know peace again. It is our civic duty to accost them every time they are in public. They are pariahs. Since women don't have their rights, abortion is not a right. These justices should never have a peaceful moment in public again. They're coming for contraception. They're not. Same-sex marriage. They're not. And uh, the ability to criminalize LGBT people again. They're not. May those justices feel the unease, insecurity, and anxiety they seek to inflict on us. For reference. This guy that helped overturn Roe v. Wade turned into a huge dick. Major downside of the new verification system, you can't change your display name without losing your thick and having to get your account re verified. I mean, it's most likely the animal character large for this is very simple. And also, the fact you're not allowed to change your name ever again. Might not just stay on verified then. The verification is what makes people believe the character is real, which is what get them, gets them to bite. Do you have a list of all your LARPs? So which one was your favourite? Nicky Bolage, Countola Al Dankula, Justice Dankula, the Duke of Cumbernauld, the Professional, 
and probably just as thank you all of the large cause of shit storm, but just dog thank you it was a category five shit needle. On the bright side, I might put up with this for another week until Musk's new code rules like really is that so Marcus, so you're telling me that in six days he's not gonna be like uh actually you have to wait till next week. Until then I am Zen, I am calm, mo moisturized, I guess, focused, flourishing. You forgot to say my hard. No, I'm not. Yes you are. I'm taking a picture of my god, why would I have a boner? Do you collapse when you get hard on thick stone work like that? I thought the wood if if it were big enough, like all the all the blood rushing there, you know. Just curious, would you play? Would you pay slightly higher as a power to account for the ability to continue the name change? Personally, I believe the name change and does that something useful to the next. <clears throat> I would, but someone pointed out that anyone connected to the government will get a grey tick, and I've ran in a few elections, and I'm still a party member, so 